Before we get into the very exciting video, I have some very exciting news. So for this holiday season and for this Black Friday, we are launching a bunch of new stuff over on the Mia Maples Market website. And also we're having our first ever site-wide sale. All the stuff we're launching in this collection, we've been working on for over a year now. So I am so incredibly excited that it's all going to be live now. But the most exciting product that I have to tell you guys about is this new sticker sheet. Now you probably have no idea what these bags are because I've never shared this yet so let me explain and ever since I started sewing I've seen comments here and there saying that you would like to buy something that I've made and as much as that would be amazing and so much fun and I truly wish there was a hundred hours in every day just with how hands-on and how much time the channel takes me to run I just don't think it's possible for me to make hundreds of items but I still wanted there to be a way for me to make things and get them into your hands so I set out to make seven Seven of these heart bags and they're all different this corduroy fabric I actually thrifted and then this fabric was made from an extra sheet that I had this one is made from the same thrifted quilt that I made that jacket in my 24-hour sewing video this one's made from old jeans this one's a classic sewing pattern this is kind of a stronger textile this one was actually a thrifted placemat this was extra fabric from my I competed in RuPaul's Drag Race video and this one was actually a crocheted blanket it that I took apart and turned into a crochet heart bag. So originally my plan for these bags was I was gonna host a raffle for charity. Now, the complicated thing about a raffle, legally, it's basically a lottery. So I could potentially go to jail if I did that. I will say I'm working on getting everything I need so that I can host raffles in the future because I think it would be a lot of fun. But for this one, I had to go in a different direction. So here's how it's gonna work. If you would like to enter to win one of these bags, it is completely free to enter. Anybody watching this can enter to win. There'll be a Google form down below. But if you would like to enter to win a bag and also contribute to this holiday fundraiser that I'm hosting on this video, you'll see down below there's a place where you can donate and all the money will go to Doctors Without Borders. And I will be matching the donations up to $10,000, but please know that if you cannot afford to donate, do not feel any pressure to donate. You can still enter to win and participate in the big giveaway. Also, if you've never heard of Doctors Without Borders, Doctors Without Borders offers medical humanitarian assistance to people based solely on need, irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation. But if you guys like this concept of doing handmade giveaways with fundraisers on them, make sure to comment down below your favorite channel charities because we can definitely keep changing up the charity for each one. Okay, but back to the sticker sheet. Now it's probably making a little more sense. Each bag has a sticker. So these sheets will be available on the Mia Maples Market website. They are $6.99 US and for each one purchased, I will donate $6.99 US to the cause. If I've missed any details, I will put them in the description box. So if you're confused at all, go down there and read that. I'll try to explain it a little bit better. But yes, this is something that I want to do for the holiday season because the holiday season is great for giving back. And I hope you guys are excited. And yes, we will actually get into the real video of why you clicked on this. Now. Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be reviewing some TikTok small businesses, and I am so excited. You guys know I'm not really an avid user of TikTok. I actually try to avoid it, but every so often I will see a small business video that blows up, and I'm just like, ooh, I wanna smell that. I wanna try that. Is that as good as it looks? So that is what we're going to put to the test today. And you might not be able to hear this, but my earrings are like cl clinging around. <laughs> Ow! Who did that? I'm gonna try to throw this to myself so it looks like someone's off camera throwing this to me. Okay, the first TikTok small business brand we have to try out is called Kiki's Cosmetics. Now, there is something about watching Kiki. Is her name Kiki? I guess I should know this information. Anyways, watching them clean the lipstick maker container thingy majig. I don't know why it's so entertaining. I'm not the only one. These get millions of views. Oh yes, I deleted TikTok. I must download it again. It honestly kind of looks like a slime account. <laughs> if I didn't actually know what this was about. These videos, six million of scraping the thing. Let's finish off two empty buckets of lip gloss base. The bucket may seem empty, but there's 
there's a ton of lip gloss base around the edges, so we're gonna scrape that out with a paint scraper. I love those. Make your least favorite lip gloss. Okay, it's pink drink. Sorry, pink drink, but you're annoying. The reason it takes so long is because of the strawberry decals. Pink drink comes with these cute little strawberries inside the tube, but they don't fit through the machine. So instead of just so yes, here is the site. Here's pink drink actually, the one that they made in the video. So that's what I got here. So I made this order on September 7th with this video in mind, but it's not actually gonna be posted till the end of November. So just know, before a video has actually come to fruition, it's been in the works for a long time. Okay. Wait. What? This is like neon green. Okay, this green one was a freebie. I was a little worried at first that I got the wrong order and I was like, oh no. Okay, so the girly pop bundle, this was $42 and there is a root beer, pink lemonade, Shirley Temple and kiwi strawberry flavored one. Ooh, this is fun. I also think these little packages are cute. They look like little pops. Also, I'm just seeing these are cruelty free and vegan and 100% handmade. That's great. I'm excited to smell the root beer one. Oh, it's so liquidy. It smells exactly like root beer. This is kind of a color I don't usually wear, but it's quite pretty. Maybe not for me, but I like it. Pink lemonade. See, this one has those little lemon chunks in there. I get that that's kind of fun. I don't personally need that in there. And Kiki said it's a lot of work to get those in there, so I don't think you should bother. Okay, this one is pretty much just a clear gloss. These are beautiful glosses. This consistency is beautiful. Shirley Temple. Ooh. Okay, this one's also a clear with the most subtle pink. It smells like cherry. Okay, last, kiwi strawberry. Okay, this one's pretty much just a clear gloss as well. But I will say it is fun with all the different scents. If you are a clear lip gloss lover and you really like different scents, this is a good package. So these lipsticks were $10 US. Okay, this is Peppermint Rose. I love the thick container we've got here. And then we also got Starlight. Now at any given moment, these all won't be available. Since it is a small business, it does relaunches for how quickly Kiki can probably make them. This one's so pretty. It has like iridescent glitter in it. I need to try these all on. My lips are going to be raw. And then we got a dang freebie. I think watermelon. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna be trying a lot of lip glosses. I have lip liner on, but I have makeup wipes standing by, so let's try this first one. It's kind of weird, it doesn't say which ones they are on it. I kind of wish it said, whatever. This is this one. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be super green on me. Ooh, <gasps> stop it. Oh, maybe I should try this without even the lip liner on. So then you can see it on my natural lip. There we go, let me try that one more time. There we go. So it's probably just going to look clear. Honestly, you're not really gonna be able to see the green. It looks very glossy and nice and not sticky at all. Fabulous. I hope they're all like this. Okay, we're gonna wipe it off. Wait, is it changing color? I feel like my lips are looking more fuchsia than when I first put them on. Wait, let me test this on my hand. <gasps> it's a color changing one. I love that. Next we will try this beautiful iridescent white one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that one's pretty. It smells really good too. You don't have to search for the scent. It will punch you in the face in a good way. I really like it because it's very shimmery. You would almost think it would feel kind of grainy because the shimmers are so prevalent, but it's very smooth and not sticky again. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm understanding the hype. And I'm actually happy with the ones that I got because they're all very different. This one's the only metallic-y one. So let's see. Ooh, it's like a pink to gold iridescence. Stop it. This is so beautiful. Also, if you don't already know, this video is not sponsored by any of these brands. None of them know I bought this. I got it all with my own money, but this is a fabulous lip gloss. This might be, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. This might be the best lip gloss I've ever tried. 
<laughs> Honestly, going into these, I thought I was gonna like these lip glosses because I do like lip gloss, but I wasn't expecting to love them as much as I do. If I could give one pointer, I would just say to put the color label down here, just in case I ever wanted to repurchase and forgot what this one was called. It's nice to have the product label, but that's nothing big. I like them a lot. I really like them a lot, a lot. Okay, the next TikTok small business is Destiny Cosmetics. Okay, so Destiny's pinned some of the really popular ones, 26 million views on this, and it's basically just filling a tube with what I think is lotion, 26 million views. So yeah, their entire TikTok covers the products, how they're made. Most popularly, I would say filling the containers is very popular. <laughs> I don't know why it's so fun to look at, but look at that. Rainbow lotion. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Trying different colors in this machine. What is this giant thing filling it? I want one for no reason. So just like Kiki Cosmetics at any given moment, everything won't be available. It's on a launch basis. This product is made to feel lightweight and is made to feel non-greasy on the skin. It's got healing agents, hydrating, moisturizes the skin, anti-aging and prevents wrinkles. Okay, what? You guys know the sirens go off in my mind as soon as something says anti-aging. Well, I mean, I guess like hydrating your skin in general is supposed to be good for anti-aging, so okay. And each milky skin is regularly around $37 to $38 Canadian each. Each, and I got the Fruit Loops one and the Hawaiian smoothie. It's also super, super dry in Canada right now as it's getting a lot colder. The air is very brisk. So I've been using a lot more lotion. So this is perfect. Ooh, they're so beautiful in here. <gasps> Look how beautiful this packaging is. Oh, hey, I love when brands do this. They do the ingredients and then the benefits. Like I love when it says the ingredient and then what it does. This is really nice. And this packaging is beautiful. This is interesting actually, because I thought this pink part was part of it, but I think it just clicks into that for looks. Okay, I can confirm it looks as beautiful in real life as it does in the videos. And again, cruelty free. Okay, and then this one, so beautiful. So excited. Okay, we'll give those a try. All right, I'm so excited to smell this. Usually every night I put lotion on, but last night, since I knew I was filming this video, I didn't put lotion on, I was dry all night. Now I'm super dry, so we can test this out. Okay, how do I get this open? Usually it's just like a spin. Like it just says to turn it to open it, but it won't open. How'd you get that? Can you do this one? Okay, make sure the base is tight. Hold the big one and just turn it to the, keep turning, it's gonna grab. It's not working for me. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <gasps> I don't know why. This isn't the first time I've had trouble getting one of these open. <laughs> we got it. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <sighs> that is so nice. Okay, this smells like no other lotion I've ever smelled. Almost like a gummy bear. Let's do this. Okay, I need to stop being annoyed. Okay, one of the big things about this is it's not supposed to be greasy. Oh my gosh, it's not really blending it. Might have to lot some for my leg, which is also very dry. Now, while that one is drying, let's try this one, and then we'll be able to see if it really dries, not greasy. Because right now, it feels wet. I love the way it squishes out. Something very satisfying about that. Okay. It smells like Fruit Loops. I don't know if I've ever reviewed lotion on my channel. I don't really know what's the best way to do it. I think this plastic bit around it, I probably could have done without. Unless maybe Destiny has it so that you can buy replacements and just pop them into this pink thing. I just don't feel like I would need a new one of these pink things every time. Okay, it's probably been like five minutes since I put on the lotion and you guys, it is so nice and smooth on my arm. I was honestly a little bit worried that it wasn't going to dry down, but it is so nice and dry. It almost feels like now I just wiped baby powder on my arm. Honestly, if you were only gonna buy one, it is personal preference, but I probably would do the Fruit Loops. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 
Next we have Sunset Cosmetics. Now this is an account that I actually see a lot of on YouTube Shorts. But for the sake of this video, I will go to their TikTok because that's what we're TikToking about. <laughs> Look at this, colorful foundations, 5.3 million views. I dare you to make pink and green foundation. How about I give you all the colors of the rainbow plus gray, black, and white. These are our new colorful foundations, which are different from face paint because they're a lot longer lasting. They don't automatically come off with sweat or water. The formula is thin and lightweight, so it's buildable. I use about two pumps of foundation in these clips. You can even create a custom color by mixing any shade. If you want something to be lighter or darker, just add a little bit of the white shade or a little bit of the black shade. Now, if you want your base to be transferred proof and matte use translucent setting powder first of all i think it's so cool that they made a foundation for every color and that they're mixable so if you want to make a custom color you could buy a few and then mix them together because face paint honestly just slides off my face this would be a great option so i'm really looking forward to trying these out i did get one of one of the colored foundations that i could try it okay and then there's waterproof eyeliner one month ago i swatched this eyeliner in a video and I haven't been able to get it off since. So basically just super smudge proof eyeliner, which I need, you guys know, I wear wing eyeliner every single day. So I will put that to the test. Okay, so here is their website. So this is the Cosplayer Dream Foundation. There's lots of other things. I'm sorry, glitter mascara is exciting, but scary because what I found with glitter is anytime I wear anything glitter, it flies all over my face and I do not want glitter in my eyes so this better stay on my eyelashes so yes let us look also this bag is really cute Ooh, hold on a second am i seeing yes also cruelty free so i did get one of the foundations the green <laughs> I'm so excited. I also got one of the freckle pens. Of course, the eyeliner that we must try and smudge off our face. Glitter mascara, and what is this? <coughs> oh my gosh, I guess I got a black lipstick. Now that I'm just thinking about it, we have green foundation, black lipstick, and glitter mascara. So the makeup look I make will be unique. Here I am, fresh faced, and I have a really gnarly migraine, which looking into all these bright lights. All right, let us see this green foundation. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, let's just do it. I'm really just expecting this to feel like foundation. And in the video, they said it took two pumps to cover their face. And I have a pretty large face, so I might need a little bit more. Okay, that's about as far as a pump got me. But keep in mind, I did wet my beauty blender, so it might be soaking up some of the product too. Oh my gosh, it's so green. This is so fun. This is exactly what my migraine needed. So this is super cool. I think this is an awesome product. And the reason I got green was for this reason. Check it out. Isn't this amazing? I am a human green screen. And now I'm a pea. <laughs> my eyes are watering. I'm crying. I'm crying because I'm a pea. Yep, that is why I got the green one. So I'm just gonna set this quickly because it's still like a foundation. I still wanna set it. And yes, for anyone curious, my brush is green now. Just a simple felt tip. Let's do this. Ooh, it's very black, I like that. As I was doing my eyeliner, I remembered I actually have had eyeliner smudge one time. Well, probably more, but the one I remember was I went in and did like right around my tear duct. So I'm going to do that to see, because this is sort of my zone where my eye waters. Now, I have this freckle pen, which I'm questioning now because uh, my face is green, but I feel like it's not really gonna translate on my green face. What is this video? If someone walked in, would you be able to explain this? It's okay, I'll blend in with the wall. See, I was excited about this freckle pen because I often find, because I am so pale, freckle products, they'll be too dark for me, whereas this one seemed light enough. So let me try it on my hand. Like in its kind of cool tone. So if you just, oops, I'm not trying to flip you off. <laughs> Sorry. See how fair those freckles look? Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. Glitter mascara. This packaging is really fun though. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna put on black first just so that I can see it. I got it in the silver. So give me one sec. Glitter mascara time. Oh my gosh, I just went like this with the tip and it shot a bunch of glitter in my face. Let's see. Where 
is the glitter. I mean, it's adding like a very subtle glitter. I am fearful I might be using this wrong. I have to Google. Yeah, their picture makes it look really great. Maybe it would look like that under flash. Oh God, that's, that's not my best look. Oh, I'm getting it. You almost should just close your eye and go ham because a lot of the glitter isn't in the brush. It's actually at the base. So you gotta push it on there. Okay, you're probably not gonna be able to see that perfectly. There you go. You can see, honestly, like all the hair on my face. <laughs> Do I have a mustache? Great, but you can also see the glitter. It's really brave of me to put that online. But as you can see, the glitter is very subtle. Last product to complete this gorgeous lurk. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. It's a one swipe wonder, look at this. One swipe. Honestly, the consistency is a, such a nice liquid lipstick. Can someone tell me why I literally just took my hair down and put on a shirt thinking that I could really serve this look? How about a little fire, scarecrow? This is awesome. Mwah! Awesome. But if you really want to smudge it. <gasps> yeah! Actually, you know what? That didn't even really smudge it. You can still see the wing. I'll test it on my arm, how about? Eyeliner. So. If I go like this. No smudge. Okay, that's actually probably a better test. I'm smudging it hard. Ah! Smudge! Ooh -ah! That's insane. Okay, I have a makeup wipe. Will this even take it off? Oh my gosh, now I'm getting freaked out. Also, how do you get this face makeup? I'm, oh my gosh, I'm green for life. Okay, ready? That was so satisfying, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so I really liked everything. What, do you have something on my face? Okay, the next brand we're gonna check out is Boss Up Cosmetics. This is an insanely popular TikTok brand, but the product I was most intrigued by was the pH Color Changing Lip Gloss. This is apparently sold out, went viral, sold out, went viral, sold out, went viral, sold out, went viral, and somehow they can keep up with the hype. But let me just show you on their TikTok page what I'm talking about. They have two million followers, and I think the whole family is involved. This is a viral color changing lip glow that turns pink when it comes in contact to your lips. Like, the color is a one, plus it's a lip stain. No, it goes just fuchsia. I mean, I want to try it. Like, it's just so fun. The whole family affair. Stop, stop it, I will cry. Don't play the Up song to me. Don't. Don't play the song from Up. It's illegal. In this household, it's illegal and uncalled for. Can I watch this? Don't. 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 Don't right now. That is so cute. <laughs> I don't know who that person was. <laughs> was that her dad helping with the business? <laughs> I get that. That is so special. <laughs> Okay, so Boss Up Cosmetics. So right when you go to the website, you've got front and center the color changing lip oil. It's $19, but there's also other things. So there's lipsticks, there's face. See, these are the cups I was talking about. So I got the color changing lip gloss and then I got one other one. So let's try them out. Here's the cute little package. Oh my gosh, beautiful. It's also cruelty free, vegan, handmade with love, black and Latina owned and woman owned. <gasps> love that. Let's try the color changing first. That's very nice, sleek packaging. Okay, we only get one shot at this. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't even notice, it smells so good. Like brown sugar and butter. Oh my goodness, so good. Oh my gosh. 
Whoa, that really did what it was supposed to do. It's definitely a lip oil in the sense that it's not sticky at all, which I absolutely love. And it smells amazing. This is so fun. Okay, I'm just gonna line them before I do the other lip gloss. Okay, so the other one that I got is Mama Boss. I just thought it would be fun to try one of the products that wasn't as viral. This color. Ooh, everything smells so good. It smells like bubble gum. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Not sticky at all. I can kind of feel the glitter a little bit, like the smallest bit. These lip glosses are great. I love these products. I love the family affair of it all. Don't make me cry again. Do not play the up song. Okay, so that has been trying these TikTok brands. I'm a little bit of a TikTok hater, but now seeing the amazing brands that have come from TikTok, I'm actually really happy that there's a platform for these brands to show off their products and get popularity and make their small business more popular. I actually like TikTok in that way. Speaking of small businesses, if you are interested to check out the Mia Maples Market Black Friday sale and new products, make sure to check out that. And also we are hosting a fundraiser right now. I talked about that in the beginning of this video, so I won't ramble about it again. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.